Dear colleagues, coworkers, managers, leaders, bosses, employees, irrelevant where you sit on the corporate or organizational org chart, if you know that there are things that you can impact and influence in a positive way, of course, and you choose not to do that, that is still a decision. Failing to act, choosing not to act, is still a decision, right? It's not an absence of one. It is still a decision. You have made a decision not to get involved, not to put the, not to roll up your sleeves, not to pour, put the work and effort in that is necessary needed to make improvements, advancements, to grow, and to take your business to the next level. So I've worked with people in the past who have said, well, I didn't make that decision, so that's not my fault. Yes, but you have been, for the last year or three or five or seven, you have been in a position of authority to make the change and you chose not to make that change. And therefore, by very nature, you have um, further extended that environment and that culture and that behavior because you've embraced it or you look the other way. But either way, you have allowed it and you have tolerated such behavior. So if you know there are things around you that you can influence in a positive way that you can change, please do so and do so sooner rather than later. Yes, at times it's best to pause and sit back and let certain things play out and develop in front of you. But if you know that there are issues, if your entire team is in consensus that there's an issue and only you have the authority to make that change, make the change. Failing to act is still a decision and almost always not a good one. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. Subscribe, comment, and share. Have a great day.